Easy methods for adding freeware aircraft downloaded from FlyAway Simulation to enhance your FSX Steam simulation experiences. Use FlyAway Simulation's player bar to move around your video. Click the pause play button to stop and resume play. Click on the status bar to review previously viewed information or to skip ahead of information you have already seen. Click on the audio button to increase or decrease the volume. This video explains three easy ways to enhance your FSX Steam collection. Freeware aircraft with base model included, freeware repaints for stock FSX aircraft, and freeware repaints for already installed add-on aircraft. For each of the methods, you need to know where to put your new aircraft files. FSX Steam's aircraft files are kept in a dedicated folder within the FSX Steam program files. FSX Steam usually installs to the same place on most computers because of how Windows works. That is the program files x86 folder. FSX Steam will be there unless you chose a different location when you installed it. Open your Windows Explorer File Manager program. Double click on the C drive. Then double click on the following folders in this order. Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, FSX, and Sim Objects. In Sim Objects, you will find folders for objects including airplanes and rotorcraft. To add an airplane, double click on Airplanes. To add a helicopter, double click on Rotorcraft. When you are ready to add your aircraft to FSX Steam, you will use the file path shown in the top line of Windows Explorer. Adding a freeware aircraft with base model included is a multi-step process, but fairly simple when you know how it's done. Choose an add-on aircraft from FlyAway Simulation. Download it by clicking on the Download button. Your browser will show the download progress and estimate the remaining time. Open your newly downloaded file. It should be on your Windows desktop or in your Downloads folder. With the archive file opened, you will see all the folders and files the developer included for using his add-on aircraft. Most developers provide a text file with instructions. Open that text file and do what it tells you to do. If no instruction file is included, Extract the entire aircraft set with all its folders and files to the FSX Steam file path that we identified previously. Go to the FSX Steam Airplanes or Rotocraft folder. Look inside that Airplanes or Rotocraft folder for the aircraft you added. If it is not in that folder, Redo the extraction procedure, making sure that you use the correct FSX Steam destination path. Then look inside your new aircraft's folder for its folders and files. They should be the same folders and files that are inside the archive file that you downloaded from FlyAway Simulation. If they are not all there, redo the extraction procedure, making sure you extract all the needed files. Open your FSX Steam. Click on Free Flight, then Change Current Aircraft. Look through the selection of available aircraft. Your newly added aircraft should be among those aircraft. Click on your new aircraft to select it, then click on the OK button in the lower right. If you saw your add-on aircraft in the Airplanes or Rotorcraft folders, but you don't see your aircraft among the FSX Steam collection, look under the Manufacturer, Publisher, and Aircraft Type categories. Some freeware developers don't categorize their aircraft accurately. If you are sure your new aircraft is in the Airplanes folder, and you have looked through the aircraft collection, but you still don't see your new aircraft, then go to your new aircraft's panel folder. 
Then open the panel configuration file. It's a standard text file that opens with an ordinary text program such as Windows Notepad. The panel configuration file should show lines of code for FSX Steam to follow, or it should direct FSX Steam to use a different panel from a different aircraft. If the panel configuration file references a panel that Steam cannot find, the aircraft will not be displayed. Revise the code to reference an aircraft you have, or contact the developer of your add-on aircraft for the correct code. Freeware repaints can be applied to stock FSX Steam aircraft and to already installed freeware aircraft. Adding repainted aircraft requires the same file extraction procedures described previously, plus revisions of aircraft configuration files. Select and download a repaint package. Extract all the new texture folders to the specific FSX Steam aircraft for your repaints. This is a repaint for the stock Boeing 747. Some developers add one texture and some add several textures. This developer made four texture sets for this 747. Go to the respective aircraft folder in your FSX Steam and verify that the new texture folders have been added. The file revision procedure should be explained in a text file provided by the aircraft developer. Follow his instructions precisely. If a text file with that information is not included, contact the developer for his instructions. The textures cannot appear without the file revisions. Copy configuration data from the developer's file. If the developer made more than one texture, there will be more data to copy than shown in this window. Open the configuration file for the FSX Steam aircraft to be repainted. It's always named aircraft.cfg for each aircraft, and it's a standard text file. Notice that each texture group for this aircraft is numbered sequentially starting with zero. Scroll down to the end of the aircraft texture section. Paste the developer's repaint data into the aircraft CFG file. Renumber the data you added to make it next in the sequence. Make sure the texture names in the aircraft configuration file match the respective texture folder names. Then save and close that file. If your repaints don't appear properly in FSX Steam, check the sequence numbers and the texture names. Also, read the developer's instructions again to be sure you followed them correctly. If you are sure everything is correct, but your repaints still don't appear, contact the repaint developer for assistance. DirectX is an internal program that facilitates graphics displays in Microsoft computer games, including Flight Simulator. DX10 wasn't quite ready when FSX was released in 2006, so Microsoft included a preview option. DX10 Preview enhances the graphics display in FSX, but it also places additional demands on the simulator and the computer that operates it. If your add-on aircraft in FSX Steam is black or invisible, check your DX10 setting. Go to the Options section of FSX Steam. Then go to the Display menu. Click the DX10 box to remove the check mark, which indicates that DX10 is disabled. Exit your FSX Steam to clear DX10 from the simulator's memory. Then restart FSX Steam from the beginning. Your aircraft should display properly. A third-party program called Steve's DX10 Scenery Fixer might be helpful. It has been independently tested and reviewed by FlyAway Simulation. For more information, go to Steve's webpage or search for Steve's DX10 Fixer. The first place to seek assistance is yourself. Reread all the instructions, double check all your work, look for possible mistakes, and correct them. 
you can usually find and fix your own errors in a tiny fraction of the time required for contacting developers and posting questions on the internet forums. If you are absolutely sure that you followed all the instructions correctly and made no mistakes, then contact the developer. He is in the best position to help you. The last resort is internet forums if you don't get assistance from the developer. This tutorial video was written, produced, and narrated by Bill Stack exclusively for Flyaway Simulation. Tell us about how helpful this tutorial was for you. Share it with other flight simmers who might benefit from this information as much as you did.